Surgical three down that hall, second door on the left. Yes, all right. Thank you. Mr. Davis in an eight needs a CBC and KG in a portable chest X-ray. And the kid in five needs stitches, four centimeter head laceration. Uh, what about the guy in four? He's uh, been waiting for three hours. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm rather busy today. I was hoping to avoid this. Uh -huh. Sorry about the wait. I'm Dr. Tillman. How do you do? Hi. I see that you are experiencing some back pain. My doctor's playing golf in the Caymans. <laughs> I just need a refill on my pain medication. All right, well, on a scale of one to five, how about your pain? On a good day, three. Today's not a good day. Squeeze my hands. Oh. Judging from your bone grass, looks like you had spinal fusion surgery about a year or two ago? Yeah. You know, if your pain's chronic, there are other treatments. How are you injured? It's a long story. Mm. Please, I was hoping you might be able to just give me a prescription. You really should have a full workup. CT, MRI... You are the most polite patient I've seen all week, so I will make an exception. Okay, this is for three days. If you're still in pain, you have to come back, okay? That's quite all right, Dr. Tillman. I have everything I need. Duty calls. Machine spit out a new number. Megan Tillman, graduated Columbia Medical School, top of her class. Hasn't missed a day at work since her residency began. Hey, Doug, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. She puts in 80 hours a week at the hospital, single, lives alone. at the hospital have a problem with the doctor no complaints no malpractice lawsuits seems friendly well liked so we've got no idea why the machine singled her out come on grab a drink with us even workaholics need a night off workaholics need a rest i'm going home and hitting the hay okay in other words in other words we'll have to watch her around the clock to figure out what kind of trouble she's in if you'd like a raise mr reese all you have to do is ask Doctor has a 6 a.m. shift, right? Yes, why? Looks like she's changed her mind about going out. <laughs> Girl like you shouldn't be sitting here all alone. Guy like you should watch where he puts his hands. Wait. Mr. Wall Street. I think we just found the threat, Finch. We're not the only ones following Dr. Tillman. She showed up at the hospital before sunrise, treated a twisted ankle, a heart attack, and a cut on a hand. She hasn't stopped once except to get herself a cup of coffee. She's dedicated. And not just to her job. That's the bartender. She's been at the club almost every night of the week. A double life? A dangerous one.